welcome back to my channel so I am so sorry about me not uploading the last couple of days but I am back with you guys again today so with this video I have planned to do a hair tutorial and I've been planning on doing this hair tutorial for a little over a month now I just never really had time to and I'm going to be doing the space buns tutorial now this is my first attempt with this video um, and the actual hairstyle itself. I don't know how well it's going to go or how it's even going to look on me. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we do, go down and click that little red subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the bell to be notified when I upload. And if this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, hello, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. So, let's go on and jump right on in. Okay, so for what you will need for this video, well, hairstyle, I should say, you are going to need a couple different style hair ties, hair bows, whatever you guys want to call them. I'm using these uh, little hair bows that you can get at the dollar store for like a dollar or so and I'm also going to be trying these kids um, little rubber band things I don't know how well these will work if these don't work if not then we're just going to see but these was a dollar and so was these little hair bows and I've got like a whole pack of them and I'm still using some so uh, you also need some bobby pins to um, Flip the hair down so it won't be flying everywhere but like I said I'm not wearing this out in public I'm just doing this for the sake of some videos so I can have a different hairstyle um, you will also need a hairbrush uh, I have just the uh, Conair hairbrush and with some videos I've also seen you will need some hairspray um, and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and jump on in And I forgot to mention a rat tail comb. These rat tail combs are easy to part your hair down the middle. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So I'm sorry about the different angle here. I'm just doing this angle so you guys can see both angles of my head. Okay, instead of directly looking me straight in the face. Now with this video, my hair is starting to get a little oily. And I'm sorry about that. If that offends you, then don't watch this video. Um, I haven't washed my hair since probably Thursday night, so my hair is starting to get a little, a little greasy. Um, now, I'm also sorry about the lighting that you guys ain't going to be able to see very well. That's because this sunroof thing has the sunlight coming directly down, and then my lighting is not working properly today. We're just going to do the best we can, so let's get started. Okay, so for starters, we are going to part our hair so you guys see how like my part is right here this is how I normally have my hair parted um, because I like all my bangs on this side except for where I went and got my hair cut a few weeks ago um, my bangs are totally parted differently now so they're more like curtain bangs you should say and it looks it looks weird so you want to try to get this like as straight down the middle as you possibly can. So if I can't do this on camera this good, then you guys are just going to have to um, sue me because like I said, I normally do not part my hair. I normally don't like my hair being parted like straight down the middle because like you can see, you can see the difference. I, I just never did like my hair. So once you got your hair parted like that. My air conditioner froze up. Hold on. So my air conditioner did not freeze. It just kicked itself down some. Okay. So now, as you guys can see, like my hair is starting to get oily up here at the top. Um, so you're just going to brush it like you normally would. And just make sure your hair stays parted. So as you guys can see, how the part is right there. Okay. So now... I've seen many, many different ways of doing this. I've seen it where you just take it, wrap it a couple times, and then twist it, and then bobby pin it. So, I'm going to try 
my way that I feel like is going to work best for my hair. And like I said, I'm just going to take a hair tie, lay that on my leg. And then I'm going to take my hair, make sure it's untangled from all my earrings. Make sure to grab it like, like in a pigtail. Take my comb. And smooth out the edges a little bit. Sorry if you guys can hear my kids screaming. They're in their room of playing. Okay. So. Take it. Like that. Grab it. Make it into a... bun like this okay or you could take it like this and give yourself pigtails and what i'm going to do actually is i'm just going to wrap it around like this which my hair is too thin for this so hold on so i've got to finally cooperate now it's not going to be 100 percent perfect and all the way on top of my head like all these other girls but it'll work so basically what I did instead of making like an actual ponytail sorry you guys can see the fishing net right there behind me so I just took it gathered it all up and it ain't gonna be even which I really don't even care if it is even because nobody's gonna really see the back of my head anyways for these videos and I forgot to leave some down so, which is which is okay for me because it's like 80 some degrees in my bedroom right now okay so what I did is I just took it like a normal ponytail and I went like this okay went like that took it didn't pull it all the way through I just took the hair bow wrapped it grabbed the hair twisted and did that about two or three times until I feel like it was perfect. So see how it's not going to be even? Like that. So I'm going to refix this up off camera and then I'll show you guys the results. Okay, well this is just going to have to work out. I know I look crazy and all, but now you're going to take a few bobby pins and I'm hoping this, this look turns out. Take a few bobby pins. And what you're going to do is bobby pin it to however you want to make it look kind of full and fluffy. So, like this. And sorry about the fart noise. I'm sitting on my tub, so it is. Okay, so now you guys see how that looks like that. Now it's time to work on this side. This side is going to be more of a little bit of a problem because the way my hair is actually looking. Now, like I said, I've actually got this to turn out. It took me a few minutes off camera, but I finally got it. Because my hair is so thin that I can't really do any type of hairstyles. My hair won't even stay curled. I'm surprised I can actually get it to uh, curl when I scrunch it. So, just take the bobby pin. And it don't matter where you bobby pin it down at. Just as long as you get that sucker bobby pin and it, and it looks good to you. Now... This side turned out a little bit better than this one, which I don't know how well you guys are seeing this, so give me just a second here. So, like I said, I don't know how well you guys are actually seeing this. Like, to me, it is so hard to work with my hair because it does not cooperate at all. So, I have to take it and finesse with it. I want to actually get it to turn out right because where my hair is so super duper thin that it does not want to cooperate and this is supposed to be messy 
So, so don't worry about, oh my God, my hair is messed up. My hair is messed up. It's supposed to be. That's, it's called messy bun space, space, mace, uh, yeah. I'm trying to get this done really super duper quick before my kids come back in here and I'm failing at it because why? My hair sucks ass. Um, but yeah, this this is my take of the messy bun space buns. Okay, guys, so I finally kind of did it. It looks a little bit better than what it did just a few minutes ago when I last talked to you guys. But I did some more finessing with it, added an ass ton more bobby pins in it. And this is what it looks like now. So I don't know how well you guys are seeing the back of it. Uh, I still need to get a lot more practice with this because it's not, it's not totally 100% even yet, so, but this is my little quick and easy, um, space bun tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up, go down and click that little red subscribe button, and I'll see you guys here in a while.